So we're going to be taking a look at the memo function in React and how we can use it. Now this is a function that you want to use to optimize or reduce the number of renders your components have. Now we're going to start by looking at an example of where this might come up and where you want to apply this and then how we can actually apply it to our components. So to start off, a common scenario that I find myself in where I may add it is with a form component. So right here I have a input field and then I have a counter. So the input field is uh, changes based on this state that I have right here. So use state, uh, I have text, and we are updating the text with set text here. And then we just have an input field that takes that value um, from the state, and then we update it on change. And then uh, a child of this component is count. And if we take a look at count, it does two things. The first is it keeps track of count um, and it displays it. And then when I click on this button, it increments the count. Secondly, it keeps track of the number of renders the component has gone through. So the way I'm doing that is I set the reference, or I'm creating a reference, I default it to zero, and then I'm displaying the reference and I increment it every time um, this function is called. All right, so what this gets us to is every time I press increment, you'll notice that count is increasing and that makes sense, and render is increasing, which makes sense. Every time I increment or call set state, or in this case, set count, it obviously is going to re-render and we're gonna get a render. But what you may not realize is because count is a child of this component, whenever this parent component renders, it is also gonna render the count again. So what that means is as I'm typing in the form, you'll notice our count component is actually re-rendering a whole bunch of times. So what you just notice there is on each keystroke, it can render quite a bit. So we just rendered this component 63 times. So this is a place where we don't actually want our count to re-render because nothing is changing in it. We only really want it to re-render if we pass it a new prop or the state changes. And so this is where we can introduce the memo function to help us out. So what it looks like is we're going to say react.memo around our function. And uh, it tends to look better if you get rid of the function and you say const count is equal to um, this and you use an arrow function because then you can say react.memo and you just wrap it uh, across your component like that. So now that we have wrapped the count component in react.memo, what's going to happen is it is only going to re-render when the props change or the state change. So what that means is when I press increment, of course it's going to re-render. But if I come back to the index over here, we're not passing in a new prop into the count. So whenever I'm typing now, you'll notice it's not actually going to re-render the count. So that is exactly where you would want to use something like this. But keep note, this is one of those things where um, you, you don't really need to optimize renders all the times. And uh, out of the box, React is pretty fast. And you don't run into a lot of performance problems. But when you do, this is one of the tools that you can use. Now this is a basic example. We're gonna now dive deeper into some more complex um, ways you can use this slash some problems you can run into with react.memo. So right here, we're not actually passing any props into count, but let's say we want to pass in a prop. So for example, what if I want like on odd, and this is a function that I pass in, and what I wanna do is whenever an odd number is uh, in the count, then I want to say clear the text. So I say set text, and we're gonna blank it out like that. So I'm now passing in a function here. And in my count, I'm going to say, I guess in my on click here, we have set count. And I'm gonna check whether the count is odd. And if it is, we are going to call the on odd. So we're gonna get a prop here. And we can say if, and we, I guess we can, render our uh, or call this before we call set count i don't think it matters one way or another it could in some situations but not here i don't think so we're going to say if c divided by or mod 2 is equal to zero um, and should be count um, that means the value is even and we're going to increment it and it is now odd so i'm going to say on odd and we're going to call it all right, so now we're gonna say increment, and I didn't really do, I didn't really type anything here so we can't see when it happens. So four, and then we increment to five, it clears it. 
Um, but what I wanted to show is we have now introduced a function here that we're passing in. And now we're passing into count. We've kind of broken our memorization, right? So nothing has changed here. Um, the prop is the same, but it's re-rendering what's happening. And the reason for that is what memo checks is the, it does a shallow difference. And what that means is that works great for strings and numbers, but it, it can cause some problems with objects and functions. So basically what's happening is it's creating a new function on every render, right? Because we're just passing a lambda in here. And because we're doing that, um, it is seeing that the function is new and it thinks it's a new prop. So this is a very easy thing to do if you're not aware. So make sure when you're using memo, you're not doing something like this. And the way we can fix it is by sticking this in something like a use callback. So we can say on odd is equal to use callback. Say rack.use callback. And the dependency here is going to be set text. And here we're going to say set text is going to be a empty uh, string and then we can pass on odd here. And so now our on odd function is only going to change whenever set text change. So we can increment and now when I'm typing you notice it is now not re-rendering. So perfect. Um, the other case that I wanted to show is this with objects. So if I just say const data is equal to um, is even false and we just want to pass this data in so we're not even using this data in the count but let's say we are you're gonna notice we can increment the count that re-renders it but now when I'm typing again it's causing a re-render every single time and the reason for that um, is because the reference to data is changing um, so how can we fix this with objects? Now this is obviously a hard-coded object, uh, but we can take a look at an example with a not hard-coded object in a second. Uh, one way is we can head over to our count and we can use the second parameter of memo. So the second parameter of memo here is a function and it takes the previous props and the next props that the component is going to receive and you can compare the props and return true or false whether it should re-render. So in this case, I can say if the previous props dot is even is not equal to next props dot is even, then we're going to return true. It should re-render. Otherwise, we're going to return false. All right, so let's give this a save. Um, and so now if I come over here and I type, oh, I messed something up here. It should be uh, data dot is even. So now when we type, still having the problem. Okay, yeah, I had it backwards. So if we say return false here, that is gonna cause it to re-render. And if we return true here, um, it will not render. So we're saying if it has changed that these values are not equal, then go ahead and re-render. So if we increment, good. But now if I type here, it is not re-rendering. So that is exactly the functionality that we want. So that is one way you can actually manually come in and say how it should update or when it should update. Um, that's one option. The other one is we can make sure that this object does not get recreated every time. So this is a hard coded object so I could stick it up here. And now we're not going to have that problem anymore. So it doesn't cause any renders when I type here. The other one is we can use another hook. So we can say const data is equal to react.use memo. And this is going to return data. Which is is even false. So what use oh, and this should be curly braces or parentheses around here. That way we re actually return the object. And that should be a comma. There we go. So what use memo does is it does not recreate this object unless the dependencies have changed. In this case, the dependencies never change because this is static, so we'll only create this once. Now it's good to note what happens if we want to have a dynamic object. So let's say we have text two, and we want it to change on text two, but not text one. So if we create another input, so text two, 
and we update text to. And let's say we want data that we pass into here is going to be the value of text two and whether text two is even. So we're gonna say text two dot length mod two is equal to zero. So let's say that's the data that we wanna pass in. You'll notice I created text two as a dependency. So the data will change whenever text two changes. So I'm going to create a placeholder so I know which one it is. So now whenever I uh, type in text two, it should re-render. But whenever I type in this one, you'll notice it does not re-render. But in text two, it does re-render. And that's exactly what I want um, because the data is changing and I want count to re-render whenever text two changes. So there you go. That gives you an idea of how you can use memo and some of the things you may come across with functions and objects that you need to be careful with and how you can use use memo and use callback to get rid of some of those problems and mitigate the objects and functions changing unnecessarily. So the main thing you need to focus on is adding these dependencies to your use memo and use callback so they only change when they should be.